Hey, what's up guys? Bumbletron back and today we will be reviewing the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Bumblebee 2 pack. And I think this might have been a Toys R Us exclusive at first, but I don't think that's where I got it. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so you see, we got this figure a long time ago. I didn't get it. That's why I picked up this set, or I just would have got the one Bumblebee. So I never got this figure, actually. So I actually got two figures in this set. Uh, and then, of course, I got this Bumblebee. So, yeah, as you see, no packaging. No um directions, because it's a older toy now. I started to throw away some of my Age of Extinction stuff to make more room for Combiner Wars. And the Last Night toys. Because we have got word, and it's I think it's confirmed, that the new movie, Transformers 5, will be called The Last Night. I'm pretty sure it's The Last Night. It's The Something Night. Pretty sure The Last Night. And it will be released, confirmed... June 23rd, 2017, and I am holding my breath and hoping that it hurry up and gets here. But anyway, let's just get down to this review. So we don't, we're going to start off with the little guy, so we don't really need him. So at first, we're going to get into some details down here. We have some blue headlights up front, some silver painting up here, and a nice little design. Everything's black around here. On the back, you get a Autobot symbol and the back lights, tail lights, and they're also blue. Under him, of course, he's. A, I think he's a Legends class, so you can see his face. You can see his chest and his legs. But hey, he's still pretty cool. Really, you got this hole on the top, so you get the same gun you got from. Um, the Dark of the Moon Jolt, and you just pull this lever back, and you get a bigger gun. Yay, little gun, big gun, little gun, big gun. A lot of harming. <laughs> yeah, so you can plug it on the top in this port, which it is a little pain. So I might have to sit him down to do this part. Come on, Bumblebee, work with me. I'm not going to be able to get it all the way in. So, yeah, it does obviously look ridiculous, but he can go down the road. What's up, man? Little gun, big gun. Stay away from me. Yeah, so he can do that. Anyway, so this is a mech tech weapon, which I really didn't like mech tech. But anyway, let's just get down to this little guy's transformation. So let's just get down to it. First thing you want to do is unplug these arms and bring them out. And then you, this is the weirdest part. You want to pull the shoulders down. That wasn't the weirdest part. This is a clever but weird transformation part. You bring this panel down, which will connect to the hand, which then you grab the hand and pull them up together. And then you have the hand in that together. Second, same as the first. You just bring that around. And then you have it like that. So the next step you want to do, these were plugged together. So you want to unplug them. And you want to pull his feet down. Just like that. And then you want to bring this abdomen section up. And I think it tabs in just a little bit. And then arrange everything how you like. And then just pull this piece down. And that will give you Bumblebee's head. And then you can angle the shoulders however you like. And you can push this piece in. And pull that down, which is how I like to do it. So, yeah. And that is Bumblebee, little Bumblebee anyway, in his robot mode. So let's look at these details. Getting in the head at first, really nice head. You get some blue eyes, some silver painting throughout. And the rest is just a little bit of yellow. Well, it's actually the rest is yellow. If you hear that, that's just my brother and his roar. But that's okay, because it's not disturbing me. 
and you can barely even hear it so and he gets his horns of course he has that same Autobot symbol and yeah that's pretty much it wrong way wrong way so um, as far as articulation his shoulders can do full 360 in and out he gets a elbow joint on a ball joint nothing down there his hips are on a ball joint you can also move them in and out side to side with the ball joint you get a knee bend which not much just a little bit and then of course due to transformation you can move his foot a little bit so yeah that's basically all the articulation you're gonna get out of this little dude and then of course you can hold this which is kind of way too big for him but hey so yeah that's it for him get out of here get back go so now we have the main part of this. We have Bumblebee. So we just spent six minutes on that little guy. This is going to take a little longer. So we better get down to it. So let's get down to the details. You get a black stripe down the middle. This is transparent. if you can't notice. The windows, all, one, all four of them. On the bottom, these are ninja stars, and they just plug in. I don't really have good lighting, but the right there is a port, and right there is two holes, and right that's actually a hole, and right here is three ports. So those just plug in, and you get two ninja stars. Yay, you ninja stars! And not much about them. They're the same. They're just stars with an outlining of ninja -ness. Just an outlining of a circle. So you get some transparent headlights up here. Of course this is a Chevy Camaro because that's what Bumblebee is. You get some exhaust pipes back here and a little license plate that has nothing on it unfortunately. And that's basically it for this. Undering, you can see his head, which I am so disappointed in Hasbro and their bumblebees. Almost all of them have their head just stinging up. Hi! Creepy. And you can also see his hands. But that's it. So let's transform him into robot mode. So the first thing you want to do is you want to untab these. They just tabbed in with that tab. And that hole. And this hole will be used again later in robot mode for those ninja stars. So you just want to untab those. And then they do kind of tab to this. So basically what you want to do is come back and you want to unplug this. These two things plugged in right up here. And focus, focus, focus. Thank you. And you just want to pull this up. If I can, which I will do in a minute. So you just pull this piece up. It's on a double hinge. You just pull it up. And then you pull this up. So yeah, that basically creates his backpack. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to untab these arms, which is a little pain. You just want to untab them and bring them down. And then you want to open his chest and bring this piece down. Tuck it in there and then shut his chest back up. So, yeah. And then down, well, we'll finish the arms up here so they're like this. You want to pull these pieces out and then you want to bring it down as far as you can get it. Okie dokie, bring that one down, bring that one down. And then you just want to push these panels in to the arm and then you have Bumblebee's arms okay so next you want to unplug the legs which we have already did okay and then you want to take the feet you want to bring them down extend them all the way and then push that piece in same with this side pull down pull down push in and then you just want to take the, and that will bring this piece out a little bit. So you just want to push these wheels in all the way. And then just bring that up and that will cover the wheels a little teensy bit. Little tiny bit, little teensy bit, little tiny. And then you want to rotate this so the wheel is in the back. And these knee covers are in the front. And there you have Bumblebee. 
in his robot mode. So this is really cool. His robot mode I dig. So let's just get down to some details. First thing we can take a look at is his face. It's the basic bumblebee face from the movies. He's got the two eyes and then that cup. Nice, nice detailing in here. You get the Autobot symbol up here, and this does come down, which really gets on my nerves. I do not like bringing this down at all. That's as far as I can get it on mine. So, yeah. But that does come down. The chest plate's pretty nice, so thumbs up on that. Down the leg is pretty cool. The foot's actually a little bit nice, how they did that painting. Now let's get out some. Up here, I like the way they were clever with that. Oh, and by the way, I will be reviewing the Takara Stinger, which is a re repaint of this. So, yeah, it's a straight repaint, nothing new or anything. So, I like to just tuck that in a little bit because I don't like it just be sticking out there. He does have a little bit of a backpack, but that's all right. Like I did say, the ninjas... Uh, so we're done with detailing. That's basically all the details. Next, we will do articulation. So he can do a 360 on the arms. They can go in and out. You get an elbow joint, and that's it up there. This head is on a ball joint. So you can move it around. Those can go forward. They can go back. They can go in and out on a little ratchet. You get a knee joint. Uh, not quite 90 degrees and you get a double jointed foot Wee double joints yeah so that's basically the articulation you get for this guy in one cool thing this is how I display him now that I figured this out this took me forever to figure out I mean forever but then I finally figured it out if you take this right hand and flip it around it is a gun so that's how I display him hands up I'm just kidding and I don't like these ninja stars for him. I do like them a little better for Stinger, but I definitely don't like them for him. So you see they just plug in right there. You do have to bring this out a little bit so they will stay in there. Because they are quite round, of course. So you gotta, gotta stuff them in there. Is that plugged in? Yes, yeah, plugged in. And then take the other one, plug it in over here. And yeah, this is how I display my bumblebee. So pretty cool. And yeah, that is basically it for this bumblebee two pack. So yeah, I totally recommend this. It has been, I think it has been over two years. Maybe not quite. Maybe, I think it's been over two years since these toy lines came out. And I think it's been a little less than a year this was like wave three i think this was wave three of the age of extinction toy line but yeah so i've got this it's really cool definitely recommend it so remember not remember no 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 remember really cool toy definitely recommend not remember recommend it and yeah so you guys be cool, be awesome, and I've only got one thing to say. Bye, peoples!